Hello everybody, my name is Brody and welcome to Until Dawn. Don't know why I paused then, made it seem a little bit more dramatic than it needed to be. But hey, welcome back. It's been a while. We've taken a break from the channel over the Christmas period. Uh, I wasn't really in the greatest of headspaces as going into the lockdown number three in the UK. It is what it is. It took me a couple of weeks to get out of this funk, but we are back. So we've recently played the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, and Little Hope. So I felt it only right to go back five years and play Supermassive Games' original or preceding game until dawn. So here we are. Uh, I hope you're well. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. I hope... You've had a nice period if it's not Christmas that you celebrate. I hope you've had a great new year. I hope 2021 isn't kicking your ass too much. But let's try and lighten it up a little bit with some scary video games. Cool. Right, let's get into it. New story. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Okay. I remember the film, The Butterfly Effect. Yes, it's Ashton Kutcher, maybe? I'll say I remember, and then I can't remember who's in it. There's a film. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Okie doke. Cabin in the woods. It's always a great start to a horror film. Awesome. So obviously it's PlayStation 4 exclusive, so I am playing on PlayStation. I am playing with traditional controls, because fuck that motion, bollocks. In the other two games, I wasn't very really good at the... Awesome. Machete Man. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. Is that Hayden Pantalones or whatever her name is? Yeah, I did. This weekend. I did. Josh. Josh? Which one, which one's Josh? I'm confused already. Okay, so this is us now. Hi. So it's just kind of a walking round. There's no kind of like tutorial either. You just throw you in. There we go. X. Tutorial. Yay. <laughs> Press R2. Press some hold R2 to pick up the note. Uh, right. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Hannah, you look hot. You look so damn hot in that shirt. 
but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. So, there's a setting to put text on the sidebar. I wonder if that puts text on the side of the screen that reads the handwriting on the notes etc because I'm probably going to struggle with that here we go let's try yeah there we go that's awesome so I've turned that on now guys I hope you don't mind but that will just help me read the handwritten notes as I do struggle as I am dyslexic a little bit well I am dyslexic and I struggle a little bit. Use the right stick to look around. Objects to be inspected. Have a little glint. Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Jeremiah Crack. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. We've all been there, buddy. I've got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. Don't do it. Oh She's taking your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Damn it. What are you Those doing are bastards. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good. Don't Just a stupid prank. Uh, damn it. Those pranksters. You know that? Hannah. Like, if that's. Oh, we'll use the right stick to choose. Choose what? Wake Josh, find others. Uh, well, Josh is passed out, so I'm going to find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! Oh, What's no, she's gone out there with that Where's weirdo out there. It's I don't know fine. if he's a weirdo. He might not be a, a weirdo. It was just a prank, Han. He's what crawling around do? the woods with some equipment around, in the middle serious. of the night. You jerks! Hannah! Yeah. Assholes. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Like, oh, oh I'm re I'm really bad at these. These quick time events, I was really bad at them uh, in Man Up and Down and Little Hope. Uh, fast or safe? Gotta go with fast. Where is Hannah? Yeah, like, what did they pull a prank on somebody that was supposed to be their friend? Uh, follow the noise, follow the footprints. Footprints. Noise could have been anything. Oh, uh, um. Oh dear. Huh? Okay, well, I'm a little bit Damn lost. It, were they friends you? with Hannah, or were they just... Were they friends with her, and, she, and Hannah tagged along? Oh, I'm probably overthinking it already. Uh, use the touchpad as shown. Hannah! Okay. You can direct the beam of light while using the... Uh, uh, by using the right stick. Okay, so we can look around with the torch. It's a little bit more than we could do with the torch in a little hope. So yeah, we're like, were they are they friends with Hannah or are they just being a jerk to her sister, Beth's sister? Is it Beth? Hold L1 to walk faster. Oh, I don't want to walk faster. 
what if I want to walk slower and safer and not end up lost in the Hello? wilderness? Hello? There we go, glinty something. R2 to pick it up, R stick to rotate it. What the heck was that? A death totem? Totem prophecies, black death, the possible death of a person who finds it. Oh, fucking awesome. Uh, indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem, uh, put, each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. You, as you unlock totems, events of the past will become clear. Okay. That did not come cl become clear at all. Mystery Man, the twins, character info, Beth. So this is very similar to the Dark Pictures ones. Character traits, honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious, relationship status. Obviously, Hannah's the strongest with it being sister, then Josh being brother, I would assume. And Ashley, Chris, Emily, Jess, My Matt, Mike, and Sam. Mike was the jerk that played the, the trick on Hannah. Any of your business? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I can't inspect any of those just yet. And then back to the totems. Found on the mountain by Beth. So that is that is that Beth fall into her death? That rhymes. Okay. This is not good. Where's Hannah gone? There's something over there. Where is she? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I completely agree, Beth. What's the thing that's on that dude's back like a flamethrower? Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such a... Oh, she is wearing that jumper from the idol. Run. Run. Run, run, run. No. Cell phone. Can we even see this if anything's chasing? I can't see if anything's chasing them. Can we get a glimpse back there, guys? Come on now. No. No. Shit. Well, okay. That definitely is something. Huh? No. Oh, this is the premonition. Hold on. Oh, there's going to be a quick time event here. I know it. I know it. I know it. Hold on. Is he trying to help us? Uh. I don't want to drop Hannah. Let's let go together. <laughs> well, shit. 
Dr. AJ Hill. That's not very great, is it? That's the first kind of decision-making experience of the game, and I've fucked there it up already. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. <gasps> it's the devil from you Constantine. You no change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Okay, so was that predetermined then? Remember that. this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant, and I want to help you see it through. Hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? That doesn't sound very good. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Why am I wearing gloves? Scarecrow in a barn. Cool. So, how did that picture make you feel? Indifferent? Remember, be honest. Um, can I say none of the above? Is there a way to abstain from the answers? No, I can only pick one or two. I genuinely, it doesn't make me happy, so I'm going to put I feel uneasy. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Because you, you only give me two answers. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Uh, no, it's not there. Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? Uh, no, it's not there either. Listen, dude. Is this threat real or is it something in your imagination? Listen, dude. Right. This thing that we're, we're approaching is because you only gave me two options. If there was a third option for me to go, uh, I'm not really bothered about this picture whatsoever, I would have picked that. Oh, you seem to possess a very active imagination. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. I do prefer the dude from the, the Dark Pictures game. The Curator. I think he's called the curator, something like that. Yeah, like clearly, I, I did, that picture didn't make me happy. So, but it didn't make me feel uneasy either. I only had two options. Right. If the music's cut out here and it's not the original music that was a uh, featured in the game, it's because it got flagged by a copyright strike. Until dawn. So I don't know much about this game. I didn't really see anything or watch anything regarding it when it was first. Yeah, there she is, Hayden Pan Pantalunis or whatever her name is. Um, when it was first released in 2015, 
so I'm, I'm, I'm quite fresh to this. Rami Malek, nice. But if it precedes, like, I know it, not in the story, but in the actual style of the execution, if it precedes the Man of Medan, I'd like to see kind of like the differences that potentially have been made between the two. So since Until Dawn and before Man of Medan. But Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Oh, okay. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. They're still missing. No. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Okay. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> he seems too happy. Like, you'd be more bummed out if it was the anniversary of your sister's disappearances. The intro's cool, though. It's very James Bondy. Like it. Good, good choice of music, Jason Graves. But yeah, he was a little bit too upbeat on the anniversary of the disappearance of his sisters. Is he getting them all out there so that he can murder them? Take revenge for his sisters? I really hope this this song doesn't get like, picked up as a copyright strike because it's really fucking cool actually. Yeah. And who was the dude that was trying to save them? Gra grab them. Was he trying to grab them or was he trying to save them? I don't know. Ten hours until dawn. Cool. Me has some deja vu of a dude with a machete. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Hello? Hello? Someone there? Yes. Path to the cable car station. 2102. So yeah, I'm really interested to see the like the evolution 
of how Until Dawn became the Man of Medan. Or at least sort of like the game mechanics and maybe the, how they chose story elements and stuff. I'm aware. I'm aware. Thank you. Tutorials. Uh, the gates busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Uh, from Josh Washington to Chris. Directions. Vancouver. Duh, 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 duh. Change terminus. Then take 38 towards Calgary. Ash drive at Blackwood Pines. Otherwise, he won't. Uh, Yo, how do I get there again? Okay, cool. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Okay, so we have to... Come on, Sam. He's already told us we have to climb over. So, let's go to the wall. Where it says, climb up. And then we'll climb up there. Safe or quick? We'll go with safe. So yeah, these quick time events, I'm not very good at them. Or at least I wasn't when I was playing the other two games. But we will see how it fares with uh, Until Dawn. When I was playing Man of Medan... I think the quick time events actually led to the death of two people. Or at least I think they did. Right. They died directly after me not completing the quick time events. But it could have been based on decisions that were an hour before that. I don't know. Okay. Hayden pantaloons. Can't see anything glinting. But... Aww. Hey, little fella. Hey. You hungry? When huh? the when don't move icon keep. Ah, damn it. I didn't even I didn't even move. I was just it's reading. Okay. That's it. Come on. Okay, right. I'm gonna brace my hands against something now. <laughs> Cutie. Okay, I braced my hands against the desk then. Maybe I've got a natural, the way I was leaning actually gave me like a bit of a natural wobble. Okay, tutorial, R1. If you're unsure what to do to the net, you can, pre you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Current objective, head to the cable car station. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. And then pretty much even across the board in the relationship status. No clues about the twins, no clues about 1952, no clues about the mystery man. But the totem is still in effect. Okay. So I can't see anything glinting. Let's see if we can read this plaque. <laughs> cool. So they're the butterflies from the totems. Tribes once tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams, prophecies, possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black death butterflies prophesied the dream as death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends guidance yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide and fortune white butter butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune cool so does that link back to the totems oh don't touch it what was the what was yellow again fucking hell I can't remember I've forgotten already uh, as you explore, you can discover totems and artifacts and something, something, something. So that looks like it's yellow. That's guidance. Ah, yes, guidance totem. 
Indigenous truck. Yeah, I've read that. Inspect. I want to see what it says again. So, is that Mike in a cave? Next to a picnic bench? I don't know. That one's that one's definitely not as direct as the the one that Beth found. Okay, so hopefully. What does that sign say? The past is beyond our control. I think that's more of a message than graffiti. I understand that it's the concept of graffiti. Chris, you here? Hello, Chris. Oh, random backpack. Do we check the random backpack? It's glinting at me seductively. You're not in the bag, are you? Yeah, of course he is. Oh, didn't inside the, you know, 15, 18 inch tall backpack. Clothes, bag or snoop. Um, I am going to go with what I would do in actual life. Ah, oh, a butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Uh, methodical, has a crush on Ashley, protective and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Okay. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. Mind? It's going to, is it going to blow my mind? My mind... Oh, there's a glint. One sec. My mind can wait. Oh, man. Look at this. Wanted. Nice. Victor Milgram. Get a visit from America's most wanted? Male, so six foot two. So. Oh, uh, last known address, Blackwood Pines. Here. Wanted in connection here. with first degree arson, as well as various deaths. So, does that link back to the fire that Beth saw? Uh, anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact BPMC as soon as possible. July 1998. Last seen in March 1998, though. What year are we in? I missed anything that's got the current year on. No, I'm definitely, I'm trying to rack my brain and hold back a sneeze but yeah i can't remember if i don't find out by the end of the episode and you know what year this is please let me know in the comment section below Pretty rad, right? what the fuck have you found come on look at these beauties uh beauties is not the word that comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, what? All right. Here goes. Shooting a gun that you find in the middle of the fucking wilderness. That never ends well, dude. Alright, that could have backfired and hit him in the eyeball or something. Did I get it? Did I get the last one? Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well... Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, squirrely. Don't shoot the squirrel.
I wasn't going to shoot the squirrel. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. I wasn't going to shoot the squirrel. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang so of So that butterfly on, clearly did something. Uh, ain't none of your business. Sam respected Pris, pri, well, uh, Chris's privacy. Not Chris's privacy, but Chris's privacy. And Chris was happy to see Sam. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. I chose not to shoot the squirrel. Let it be known. Nature remained in balance. Cool. Oh yeah, we're controlling Chris, aren't we? Okay, so two actions have already contributed towards the effect of the game then. wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out he said that what people i i don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy mm. i think josh is going to murder them putting that out there now my first conspiracy theory regarding this game is that josh is going to murder everyone Oh, okay. Still in control. I thought the way that, with the way she walked out, I thought it might have actually been like a cutscene type thing. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Blackwood Pines Hotel and what Sanatorium. What, in the, the same place? I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought For a healthy body and mind. Is that like, like a day spa then? What was he... Uh, did he see something on the camera that I missed? No idea. If he did see something, I completely missed it. Okay, let's go back to... Is it Sam? Was her name Sam? Finally. You coming? Yes, Sam. Uh, well, Hello, Sam. I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but... Okay. Hmm. Enter car. Just like going to the prom. Begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. Yes, he's excited at the prospect of way. murdering you all. We're all here, aren't we? <laughs> Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, yeah, yeah, because right. you know it's Josh not going to get met? brought up at all. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And? and next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and cool. we became friends. Cool, cute story. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? 
you could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Cool. I'm glad you, you explained that for us, Chris. Thank you for clearing that up with your useful story. Okay, so is that somebody else at the top? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Wasn't was she the one that Chris fancies? Chris has got a crush on? Confident, trusting, irreverent? I don't quite know what irreverent means. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Um, sorry, it was that button that I was trying to press. Uh, honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. Uh, it's all the same traits, just in different values then. So, none of them are negative traits. Or, is she classed as not charitable because she has a low bar? I don't quite understand that. Relationship status, obviously she's closest to Mike. And I'm going to have to Google what irreverent means. Hello? What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are Hi. you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? That was a really awkward way of pressing a button. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh. Hey. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Hey, my I never even goodness. touched that. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike Explain. and Emily were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. That's, that's really clear cut. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. She's waiting for Mike. Mike. What? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Awesome. Resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. I don't think it would have been, like, Matt. pretty. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious, active, motivated. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, what? Okay, so this is already spelling a recipe for disaster just by social standards. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's it's like a dude hit X and their new partners. Definitely not going to feel like a regular partner. That. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> awesome. Thanks for that, Mike, you absolute jackass. Mike, intelligent, driven, persuasive. Emily's ex. You guys, Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Uh, back off, Mike, or we're all friends here. Back off, Mike. 
Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Okay. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Or Mike. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Wasn't Excuse he... me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Wasn't he carrying all the bags anyway? See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. I'm pretty sure he was carrying the bags anyway. Status updated. Romantic. Ah, it boosted my romanticism. Who knew carrying bags was such an aphrodisiac? Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Awesome. 2132. Okay, so that is... And I'm not very good with names, but that is Jess... Jess, who's there waiting for Whoa, Mike? Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. And there's Mike and Ashley. No, Mike and breakup. Emily. I'll try and remember their names. I promise, God. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, <laughs> it's busted. Or do I? Um. I'm glad there's not a timer on these like the other games. Uh, like he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Insist. Uh, no, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Um. Sure, if you say so. He seems like a nice guy. I was doing that to save his feelings. Uh, maybe have a, if chance, have a chat with Emily and say, look, see what you're doing. You horrible, horrible B word. Jessica. See, Jess, I was, I was kind of right. Read book, check phone. Uh, well, in real life. I would definitely be checking my phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Who oh, the fuck? Where did this come from? Uh, grab Snowball. He's a bit of a prick. He's going to get it. Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh! Winged straight in the nuts. Right. Hey, you know that? 
Hiding, little chickadee. Yeah, he's a bit of a jerk. Oh, I don't like him. Hi. Hey! Oh, snap! This is cool, though. Playing us. Oh, there's the bird. <laughs> Hello! Come on. And there's the bench. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> How how do oh, it was a guidance one, not a death one, right? Sometimes doing nothing is the you right can't thing hide to do. Me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Well, I'm clearly gonna do nothing. I just got a hint to say doing nothing is the right thing to do. Whoa! Oh. Right. Just... And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. Oh, my, my. okay. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, grab a snowball. I'm not kissing that jerk off. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh, mate. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice <laughs> out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much... Ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Can we just get to the lodge, please? Oh, my goodness. So if he was already up there... Who was she waiting for in the cable car? Hello again. Hello again, Dr. Hill. And how are we feeling? A little bit grossed out from the interaction between Jessica and Mike, but no, other than that, I'm totally fine. We made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay, so have I got two options this time? Or more than one? Uh, women worry me, men worry me. Me personally? Always been more nervous around women. Uh, planes, not bothered about crowds. However, I do not like, I don't like crowded place. Uh, heights, drowning, can I pick both? One more than the other, um, drowning? Um, snakes, easily snakes. Uh, guns and knives, um, not really bothered by either of them, actually. Uh, guns? We don't have guns here in the UK, so... Um, snakes again. I must say it is always snakes in that circumstance. Unless it's clowns. Clowns and snakes. Clown... <laughs> Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm fucking done. <laughs> oh. That may come across like I planned that, but I really fucking didn't. And with a warm, warm I've just gone. 
I completely did not plan that. Oh, you bastard. Uh, gore or crows? Neither. Gore? I was doing the turn the page thing. I'll go with gore. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Yeah, asshole. You're going to get your pun face punched in across the table in a minute. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Um, sure. So, snakes. Uh, gore. Clowns. That zombie drawing is pretty cool, though. Uh, war, dog, uh, gore. Does this mean it's just going to get really gory? Uh, I'm not bothered by storms. This is very interesting. I'm not bothered by gore, either. I don't know why you're so fixated on gore. Diligent. <laughs> Snakes. Clowns. An awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> you what? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. What are the... Uh, that sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs>